Welcome back, YouTube, to another video. Top of the morning. Got my cup of joe. Today's video is going to be the GT review 1500 miles. Yeah, I got serious. I got intense. I'm gonna give it down because the GT review 1500 miles is something serious and intense. I got 1200 miles on my original GT. Right now, that is currently got a stock tire. I've been riding stock tire last week and a half. My GTR, my second GT, has almost 500 miles. So we're we're a little over the 1500 miles. We're we're kind of due for this 1500 mile review. All right, so the review here it goes. The GT actually changed everything about one wheels for me. I'm not that into street tricks. Uh, I do want to get better and learn, uh, but my main thing is just riding fast on trails. And so since my main thing is that, um, the XR just, I've, I've been riding it a little this week because I only have the stock GT and I've been doing this underground circuit. So I've been testing times out and I can beat my XR times with my Trail Pro tire and my setup that I love. I can beat those times with the stock GT. It's a little gnarly still, the, the tire. Um, in all honesty, it feels better the second time around. I've been really liking it a lot better this, this second time, this, this past week, me riding it. And the reason I say that is I've fallen so less. Like I have not fallen like I did the first time when I got on the GT. And I know why you fall when you, when you get on that GT. Newsflash, you can't ride the GT like you ride the XR. And it's so simple. All you have to do is widen your stance. That's it. The GT is a heavier, bigger machine. And when you ride with that back foot super close to that back tire, like you like to do on the XR in that power position, you know, you are gonna get bucked off on this thing, okay? If you're riding street with no cracks, sure, ride that thing like the XR. But if you're on some terrain, yeah, you put your back at the back and you put your front at the front. It's gonna feel weird. Your legs are gonna be spread a little wider than normal. That board's gonna handle the bumps and you on top of it way better. Buy the GT. I see this question all the time. Should I get an XR or should I get a GT? I mean, if you wanna get that XR and then finally ride the GT of your friends six months later and want a new one wheel, then go for it. Get the XR, learn on it. Get the GT eventually, it's gonna happen. It's, it's inevitable, it's freaking a machine. Are you serious? I've been riding the XR this week. Dude, you gotta baby the hell out of it. There's one or two trails on this circuit that benefit you using the XR. I'm so used to the GT. Dude, you, you demand it gives. You demand it. It gives it to you. On the XR? <laughs> Bro, it starts like wanting to surge and nosedive. It's still a fast machine and it's, motor, it's momentum driven. I feel like my average speed with the XR is a little higher because I have to stay at a higher speed. If you start slowing down and, and speeding up, dude, nah, you're gonna lose so much time. You just have to hit everything fast. And so, that's cool. But that GT is like a dirt bike, dude. Okay, the XR is like a, the XR is like a fast moped and the dirt, and the, and the GT is like a dirt bike. And you guys, I'm not talking to street guys, all right? I love you guys and I love street. I'm, I used to skateboard, I love street tricks, okay? So, I love all that stuff. It's just that going fast on trails, dude, GT is the shit in the future. Go buy it. All right, so that's that. Let's talk about more stuff. How does it handle better than the XR? Uh, how fast is it better than the XR? I have two GTs. None of them have ghosted. In fact, I was riding one of my GTs without a grip tape yesterday, just on the sensor pads. Riding great. I love it. All right, so let's just say someone tied me down and I have to say something bad. I have to. I have to say something bad. It can't be just an all good review. All right, what has happened to me? It's never ghosted. There's been two times on a drop that it shut off. And since then, I took off the third layer of plastic and it has not happened again. Uh, I can't say that that's a for sure reason it has not yet, but I definitely took off the third layer of plastic and yeah, it hasn't happened again. Uh, in conclusion, what I recommend the GT <laughs> course. Of course I would. Why? Because it's superior. 
They don't even make XRs anymore. Jeez. Well, this is what could maybe be done on the next firmware update. I've had a lot of feedback telling uh, me that they need to make the safety beep um, higher. Okay, I can see that. I can see the safety beep being louder. Oh, uh, Jeff McCosker and Flow Life uh, dropped the um, the Enduro tire for the GT yesterday. I was unsuccessful in getting the pre-order. However, I will be paying premium to whoever wants to sell it. I will get my hands on one. Would I recommend the GT for kids? Little Jeff shreds the GT all the time. He loves it. All right, so it's your first time coming into One Wheels and you're looking at a Pint X or the GT. Unless you have a kid, I would get the GT. I mean, the, the Pine, I feel like it's good for kids and I see a lot of adults riding them and I know that you're gonna be pissed because I just said that, but dude, get the freaking GT. I mean, it's just so much bigger, dude. I'm a short dude, like, Pine's too small for me. All right, one last thing, the overheating. If you're in Texas, this is the hottest time of the year. And last year on the XR, I'm totally used to like riding all day long in this heat. With the GT, it just has so much power that unfortunately you do have to take small breaks. It's never overheated on me, but I can kind of feel when it right when it gets to like 170 degrees, I can kind of feel like a fatigueness. And this is only going for like uh trail riders that are riding an hours at a time okay if you're riding here and there around the it's never overheated at all on street never it only overheats on the trail if you're demanding max performance from the gt on a trail in about 45 minutes you're gonna start overheating so you're gonna have to take breaks and it's fine a lot of the people that you ride with are gonna have to take breaks anyway so just take breaks every 25 minutes or so uh call it like a foot break or something and uh yeah, let your, let your muscles have some breaks here and there. Um, Staterade does not work. Not for me. Not for Texas 100 degree weather. Not for how I ride it. Nope. Does not work. I got Staterade in both of my GTs. I got 7 milliliters in one. I put five. I, we went a little light on the first one. Done all sorts of other things as far as heat sinks and... Uh, sandblasting rails and adding thermal paste and sanding down the axle blocks dude we've done it all texas 100 degree weather all that stuff dude it, I, you know what it might be helping my temperature might have been 200 if if we didn't know all that stuff you know i'm not calling it snake oil i'm not saying that it's like totally uh because i didn't do any like scientific tests you know i didn't do like a all right Day one, 100 degree weather, no staterade. Let's go five miles straight through. All right, what's the temperature? Next day, same degrees with staterade, same trial, the same trail, same rider, all that. So that's like, I feel like a better experiment that should have been done. But just from like riding it pretty much the same every day, same consistency of temperatures, I'm noticing not a big difference. So just wanted to throw that out there uh, so people could know. Uh, People can know my experiences. Leave in the comments your experiences with the Staterade. Leave in the comments your experiences with the GT. Um, leave in the comments uh, your experiences with the tire and the GTR. And um, anyone that's got the TFL Enduro, let me know if uh, if it's night and day over the stock. Uh, because I was worried that because of the 6.5 inch rim, that the lack of sidewall anyway was not gonna be a big deal on that soft enduro tar. Shout out to the float laugh, they're awesome. But this has been a video, like and comment and subscribe.